My name is Anna, and um, my family and I have three kids. They're Amadi's, she's nine, Daniel's seven, Isaias is, he's 10, and my mom. Um, she's, I've been taking care of her since I'm 17. And they're the reason why um, I push forward. And sorry, we were going through a lot of stuff. Um, and my kids have gone through a lot of changes. So my mom has too. Um, my husband left and finances were getting kind of hard. Um, things, my father passed away in February. We ended up all having COVID and he passed away. Um, and then lastly, we had a house fire and I, I feel like all the finances were going downhill. I'm trying to provide something now. I was staying with my sister for a little bit, but I could no longer stay there. Um, her landlord felt it was too much liability and, and she's a single mom, which I understand. It was, it was, it was hard for my sister, but um, then I, I was staying with a coworker, but they let us spend the night because um, he was kind of in the same situation with the leasing, with housing, you know. Um, but then after that, I started paying for a hotel, but the money would just go so quickly, like it's like peak season. And then I, we checked at the hotel and I was looking for some assistance, but I didn't know where to go. So we ended up being at the park here at the Boston Public Gardens, um, and it was hot. So, you know, the kids, they don't know much. I just let them play in the water pond while I try to make calls and things like that. Um, there was a somebody that I knew that told me, go to the woman's lunch place and I'll take you on s tomorrow. And she, she brought me here. And that's when I bumped into Amani. And I brought my documents that she worked hard. She was calling places. And because my mom, I can't separate from her because she has schizophrenia and I, I just couldn't. I couldn't leave her to go to another shelter when I know she needed to be supervised. So it was a little complicated. And Amani tried so hard and she made me call this other places. And then finally, when I spoke with Noah, they started giving us a hotel um, to stay at. And I remember it was like some relief that I had that we at least had somewhere to go. And I know it was because she made it as, you know, that determination that she didn't give up. She could have said, they already said no so many times, but she kept trying. And um, it felt so good to come here sometimes every day because we would have to check out every day from the hotel to see if they would extend us a day. And then I would come here and it felt like, I felt so, safe here in the sense that you know like i had shelter we had food to eat the kids did my mom and everybody was so helpful like even when amani wasn't here whether it was chris or um doris at minerva which i personally got to interact the most or the staff of the kitchen you know like they everybody i feel like they gave their heart out and whatever they do, whether it's cooking or just whatever they can assist with. And Doris, she 
she was so on top of, you know, trying to get, helping me. Like I would call, she would also look for me to see if there was any housing. And she would call Boston Metro to try to speed up the stuff or whoever she needed a contact to help assist. And now I feel so blessed. I have now this apartment. I could not be more blessed than anything else. And I thank God that he brought me here and to meet these beautiful people that had helped me in this journey to be more stable.